So I'm curious. This has been all over the headlines. Have you heard about the Lindsay Sh- Shiver case? I. That's not the one we started watching on stream, is it? Uh, we did watch some body cam footage from their home in okay. Georgia. So I know barely anything about it. I really know barely anything. So. Okay. So, Lindsay Shiver, Shiver is 36, and she stands accused for, you know, scheming a plot to get her husband killed. She supposedly was hiring a hitman to take him out. Okay. Now, who they are. So, Lindsay is a former cheerleader, okay? She was named Miss Houston, Houston, Miss Houston, Miss Houston County in 2005 um, and finished second in the National Peanut Festival pageant. So, she's um, was in pageants, a pageant queen. She was a cheerleader. Um, her husband signed with the NFL team, the Atlanta Falcons, uh, in 2009, I think. Oh, no, he was let go in 2009. The husband that she tried to end? Mm-hmm. Oh. He was an NFL player, and he played for Auburn University between 2006 Auburn. and 2008. Um, he comes from a family with money. Uh, his dad was the CEO of Flower Foods for a long time, like four decades. <sighs> And st- stepped down in 2019, and the company was worth $5 billion. Oh, my gosh. Yep. So, um, they have three children, all under the age of 12. Okay. And on social media, and she they... she tried to end him? Yeah, so on social <sighs> media, it looked like they were... I think they were married for 13 years. Um, I think they met in college. They, you know, they married each other. They had three kids and they posted stuff on social media that made like dancing like you know funny stuff like they seem like a really happy couple and i think everyone in their lives generally thought they were a happy couple and it all started when the husband was noticing like some suspicious behavior in his wife Mm -hmm. so he hired a private investigator Okay. To see what was going on. So apparently they have property in the Bahamas. They have like a vacation home in the Bahamas that it sounds like the whole family. Like so Robert's family and uh, him and Lindsay all kind of co-own this home and private jet that they go to the Bahamas and they have these family vacations. Like sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, Well, during these trips... She met a guy who was a bartender. Okay. And she was having an affair with him all this time. Now, Lindsay claims that she didn't have an affair with this guy until there was already a divorce going on. And that Robert knew from the beginning that he knew that she told him. Okay. But he hired a PI and clearly that's not true. (laughs) I was going to say, is there evidence yeah. Yeah, there is. Um, so he hired the private investigator and he caught Lindsay hanging out with this guy named Terrence Adrian Bethel, who's 28 years old and he's a bartender. Um, originally, he thought she was dating the this bar's like manager because they saw them together. But then... Robert literally went and confronted the manager, and he's like, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I I have nothing to do with her. And then the private investigator, like, digs deeper and sees that it's this guy, Terrence. So um, after he found out, and he decided, I'm filing for divorce. And he filed for divorce, and it's a nasty divorce like he cut her off financially now they still were living together in the family home with the kids trying to co-parent but it was it got dirty um because he filed it's a so you can file fault in the divorce in georgia Mm -hmm. he filed her at fault for adultery okay and he also cut her off from finances and like he she gets no allowance she gets nothing and right. he wants full custody of the children and their home, which is, I think, a few million dollars. Yeah. I believe is From what I From the body saw. cam footage, it looked big. 
It's yeah, it's like a mansion. I don't remember how much it's worth, but it's it's a chunk of money. Yeah. So then you know, she comes back and says that he was abusive, that it's his fault because he was abusing her. Oh, okay. But there's no proof of that. And everybody in the family and who has talked about the couple said they never saw any signs of Robert being abusive. I was going to say, it's convenient when it comes out at a time where it's going to benefit her. I'm not saying it's not possible, okay? I think there's a lot of relationships out there where maybe there was a one-off situation, you both lost temper, somebody did something that they regret that could be borderline. I think that there's a lot of those types of situations, but like abusive, I feel like based on her personality and what I've seen, we would have seen that come out already. You know, not not waiting until it can be leveraged and used against him in a situation like this. Okay, so the the house is worth two point five million. I could be wrong. The house is worth two point five million in Thomasville, Georgia. But yes, I feel like there would have been signs. And I did see somebody do some digging on social media and saw some like photos on social media of her like having some kind of bloody injury that she said she got from playing tennis. Um, But there's nothing like substantial there now the body cam footage four days before this murder for hire plot was discovered uh the, Lindsay called the police to their home and this was all happening in the bahamas when she got caught when all this was found out they were in the bahamas so not the four, body cam footage is it no okay i'm talking okay. about when they got yeah, caught yeah, yeah, now yeah. four okay. days prior to that they were in georgia preparing to go on vacation that morning yeah. And they get in an argument because from what was in the body cam footage, what we know is that Lindsay had been planning a trip for like weeks f- to go on a vacation with her boyfriend mm-hmm. um, and to Key West, Florida. Now, I feel like this is really important. OK, Key West, Florida was the plan for her. And while she was going there, he was going to take th- their sons, their three sons to the Bahamas. OK. She randomly just changes the plans and is like, no, I'm coming. I canceled my trip. I'm coming to the Bahamas with you on the private jet with the family. And they get in an argument. He's like, no, like, you're not going to do that because it's confusing for the kids. You're going to fly with us and our private jet where we're going on family vacation with the kids. And then you're just going to take off and go meet your boyfriend and not be with us. Like, that's super confusing for the children. Antagonizing. Like, that's why she did it to try and antagonize him. See, well, now we have evidence that. She, I, I believe, or the change was to do that. It was to oh, okay. that. So she, okay, okay. they got have it. text it, messages it. between her and her boyfriend, and the hitman showing that she was in the process of planning this. Okay. During that Gosh. time, because people, I saw heard, I heard people saying like, well, maybe this whole argument in the body cam footage was like a catalyst, and I'm thinking no. She totally changed her her plans last minute yeah. to carry out this hit oh, because for sure. because it just randomly changes out of nowhere and 4 days later they find this out. I think she also staged the police call though. I really really do because remember she called the police because he needed to get something out of her car and she wouldn't get out of the way of the door like well, see, and then she's the one who called when he, he just opened the door. Okay. He didn't even touch see, her. See, that's according to Robert. That's that is part of it, but the other part is this. So she calls nine one one saying that he pushed her out of the way to get the kids' suitcases out of her car because she packed up all the kids' stuff in her car, and he's like, "I need to take them on the private jet to the Bahamas, and you're not coming." Yeah. And so he goes to get the stuff out of the car. She won't get out of the way. She's telling him not to. And she claims he pushed her. Well, he claims she wouldn't get out of the way. And, you know, like the door. The door did. The door yeah. did. And that she physically pushed him out of the way. Probably. So I he's, don't doubt he's it. He's claiming that's what she did, was that she was the one to do that. Um, now the, I think having the cops show up is a really good prequel to try to get away if you're going to do something like that. Because now she's going to seem like the victim and there's going to be footage proving she's the victim. 
Yeah, I'm so curious how she wanted this to play out. I don't um, know, because, dude, boyfriends, husbands, and wives always get caught. That is the worst idea yeah, ever. because they always look at the partner, always. Statistically, it's like 70, over 70% or something, like... And they rightfully do so. Yeah, they rightfully do so because yep. it almost always is the I partner. I know, I know. So anyway, you know, I don't actually know if they even got on the private jet together, to be honest. Hmm. I haven't seen that detail anywhere. Hmm. So if you guys know, let me know because I'd like to know, did she actually go on the private jet with them or not? But they're arguing in front of the police. Uh, he takes the bags because the cop says it's okay. And then... Lindsay goes and tries to take them back out of his car and switch them over. And the cop's like, what? We so this is what we're going to do. We're going to sit here while you guys take bags out of each other's cars and do it back and forth. No way. Yeah. That's like, funny. You know, she's like, you're just making it worse. Like, yeah. and now you're doing it in front of your kid because Robert went and got the little one and brought him out. Mm -hmm. And Lindsay was in the process of trying to do that. And the cop's calling her out. And she's like, now your kid's out here. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, and, and he wasn't even the one changing the plan. She was. She was changing it on him, which wasn't, that's not fair. That's not an okay thing to do. Mm -mm. But clearly it's because she wanted him whacked, I yep. think. That's 100% what I believe. And from what I'm seeing, there's evidence to back that up. I think you're right, yeah. Um, because the text that they have, she was sending pictures to this guy, which this guy's name that was involved is uh, Adrian... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Ad is it Adrian Bethel? I think it is. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's Terrence Bethel is the boyfriend, and Farron Newbold Jr., who's 29, is the one they were trying to get to kill him. Okay. She admitted to sending him pictures of her husband and saying, kill him. And I think I she, mean, do she's they have the pictures or were they already this. deleted? Well, see, he, this is how they got caught, okay? Somehow she makes it down to the Bahamas. Um, you know, Robert and his kids are down there in their vacation. She's with her boyfriend. And the cops are randomly investigating this bar, okay? Because there's a robbery at the bar that he works at. So it was random? It was, that's what I was like, I couldn't wait to tell you how they got caught. So they're investigating this robbery at the so bar. So he could have died, like. He could have for real died. <sighs> so they're investigating this robbery, okay? And they want to take the employees' phones and look through them trying to figure out who did it. And they find these WhatsApp messages between the boyfriend and Lindsay and Farron. <laughs> and they see that they were plotting this. So they immediately go tell Robert and he literally flees. He's like out of there back in Georgia with his kids, terrified for his life and his children's safety. And they arrest all of them. Oh my gosh. Isn't that, that is crazy? so crazy. Yep. He very... He could have died. Yeah. Oh, my God. Thank God they didn't succeed. So they were looking for a robber, and they found a murderer. They found a murder plot. Oh, my gosh. That is so wild. And he's probably counting his lucky stars, you know? Okay, yeah, that for, is for real. Just gnarly. So I that's heard karma. That's why I am terrified of karma. I'm telling you, that like, is karma. Keeps me up at night, terrified. Well, see, here's a weird monkey wrench in this whole murder for hire plot. Now, Lindsay claims she was just venting and being angry and texting these things, but. Farron Newbold Jr. is the son of a politician in, in this area, okay? Okay. And he's a wannabe rapper, uh -huh. but he's like, he's not struggling for money. Why would he be a hitman? And he, the attorney literally came out and, and scoffed at it and said that they, they were never even close to ex executing this plan. It's blown out of proportion, and I quote, those young boys were not capable of doing that. I don't think it matters, in my opinion. So, I, so okay, let's just pretend there's 10 steps in a hit. Does it matter if they're at step one or step 10? No. Step right. one is thinking the idea. Yep. That's enough 
Yeah. That is enough. If you're the type of person who can even consider that realistically, you need to be behind bars. That's it. Agreed. And and see, they weren't just talking about it. She was sending him pictures and saying, kill him. And look, what if the robbery, okay, this guy worked at the bar. What if he was robbing the bar to get money to pay for the hit? I, I know. That's what people were talking about online, some speculation. It could be connected. Totally could be. Yeah. So it says he's a structure, Newbold, okay, Fair Newbold, the supposed hitman, is a structural engineer and son of a prominent local politician. I don't know if that matters in my opinion. He said it's not what it seems. Uh, He made a comment saying it's not what it seems. (sighs) What else could it be? So, and also Bethel, her boyfriend, said uh, to the Daily Mail he would never harm his lover's husband and his ongoing relationship with Shiver was never a secret. The offending text, he said, amounted to little more than hyperbolic fantasy and Shiver's, amid Shiver's uh, marital combat. I, for me, I still think she's guilty. If you're the type of person who can honestly talk about it and consider it, that, that's good enough for me. That is good enough for me yeah in my opinion i hear you um now i heard a lot of people talking about her being like swooped up in this affair in the bahamas and it's so luxurious and you know what i see i see a woman who dedicated her life she was a stay-at-home mom to raising kids and she got a life of luxury she wore designer stuff, Cartier bracelets, flying to the Bahamas on a private jet, and she threw a fit when it was getting cut off. Yep. Yep. No, I, I She agree. wanted this l- l- affair with still the luxuries that came from her husband. Yep. Now, if she wasn't well, such... Well, then she should have made it work and not been a idiot i know they she could, probably could have had dude, both rich couples totally do that where they step outside the marriage and have like a don't ask don't tell or even an open relationship or a swinger yeah, relationship I mean, all couples do you don't even have to be rich no I've known plenty of people yeah it's completely normal i don't think it's outside of what normal would be considered but yeah i just thought it was weird that people were portraying it that way that this happened because of her affair no It totally did not. Mm -hmm. Now, her having an affair may have set into motion the divorce, but that's not why she wanted to kill her husband. She wanted to kill her husband because she wanted the money. She wanted the life insurance policy. She wanted the kids and all the things that came with it and be a widow and then have her boyfriend and her kids and have a happy life. Yep. She wanted him out of the picture so she could have everything he had. Which is so selfish to even be able to think about that idea possibly because, okay, take the adults out of the equation. You're willing to rob your kids of the only other parent they know. There's only two in this situation, and you're going to rob them of their parent. Yeah, they're father's gonna die in a tragic way like that's so much trauma and then they don't have that father anymore and both parents are incredibly important for children like incredibly important oh absolutely there's a lot of studies out right now that show like you know the mom is so important for any kid of either gender of 10 or younger and then the father helps uh or is more important for 10 and over because of the difference in social skills versus caring nature and things like that where if you don't have one of the two and it doesn't have to be a a a father as a man and a mother as a woman it just needs to be those two different character behavior type people in their life but if you don't have one of those then you're going to be lacking in one of those yeah so Totally it's makes sense. really messed up. And one thing I will say, too, is that idea of the hitman not being able to be that person because he comes from money, because his uh, family member is a politician, because he has schooling, book, book smart and everything. That is a bunch of BS, if I've ever heard it. Because I've known, I used to hang out with really, really wealthy people Mm -hmm. in California when I was in school and everything. Those were some of the worst kids with stealing and like, dude, they carried around like 
platinum cards. You know what I mean? They could literally spend $1,000 just because they want to, but no, they would go out of their way to steal because they wanted to rush because money Mm. wasn't a concern or a worry or a problem. But what was is getting enjoyment out of life. So you find things that are outside the norm to get that adrenaline going and enjoyment. So I don't think that's a good argument. That's That's a good point. I just don't think you can judge someone on that. That's true. You're right. So. Um, so here's here's what I was talking about with evidence. So on July 16th, 2023, at Abaco, while being together, did with a common purpose agree to commit an offense, namely the murder of Richard Shiver, the police report stated, according to Thomasville Times Enterprise. So the same, it says that was the same day where, where this body cam footage is where they're arguing, and she claims it's a living hell, like living in the same house as hell on earth, you know, with her husband to the police. That was the same day Lindsay Shiver planned the murder for hire with her lover Terrence Bethel, 28, and man Fair Newbold, 29 said the cops in the Bahamas. So, for real, like, they have evidence that she was planning it that day. Yeah. And, and this like is, I said, that's enough for me. People keep quoting her Instagram, where in March 6, 2020, she posted a, a picture of them and put, the key to a perfect marriage is having two imperfect people who refuse to give up on each other. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's all an image thing, I'm telling you. So uh, for those of you that are just watching for the first time, welcome. But um, I'm a salesperson, so like by habit I read body language. And I was getting some wacky body language readings on that body cam. It was really... Yeah, yeah. And what made it even more weird is watching both of them together because she was throwing claims at him that... Like, you don't want me to show him the video. And he had no response. He was literally done with her where if there was a video, you would get something. You would see worry in his face and Mm -hmm. in his body. He might still ignore her, but we'd be able to see something. Or he would respond to her to try and get her not to show it. I don't think, based on what I'm seeing, not that there isn't any, but based on what I'm seeing... I don't think there was abuse beforehand. I don't think so either. I could be wrong. I just want to be clear. It's not like I know everything. I wasn't there for all of it. I could be wrong. There could have been abuse. But just off of the things that are standing out to me right now with the evidence we have, it doesn't seem like it. I agree with you. I really don't think there was. I think she was trying anything to look like the victim in all of this, and she just couldn't. And see, the thing is, in Georgia, the... um, there, I haven't seen a law like people have been saying that you can't get alimony when you cheated on your partner. It sounds like it can make you not get alimony if you're at fault. But in some cases, like, because they take many things into account. They do. Like yeah. your ability to make money for yourself, uh, the, the living standard you were at with this partner, like mm-hmm. many, many things. So... She maybe could have most. I don't know. Like we just don't know. Now she mm. was living super, and if she got the kids part time, maybe the alimony would have been granted for a short time. Yeah. Maybe, but it, it's not like it was like absolutely not. Now Robert didn't want her to get alimony. He was requesting to not have to give her sure. alimony. He's but, angry too. It's important yeah. to remember in this situation. It was a bitter divorce. Yeah, when you when you take the hit out of it, they still had so much resentment and anger and probably even hate between each yeah. other because of what was going on and um to me It seemed so manipulative. Now, I've only seen the body cam footage, you guys. So what I saw from him, I didn't see manipulation. That's another reason why I feel like uh, that's being made up. He was pretty straightforward with the cop and was up front and very calm the whole time. You could tell he was annoyed, but he was talking very straightforward and not running, you know, emotional and mental circles like she was oh, in the yeah. video. Yeah. So if anyone here is manipulating a line, usually it's the one that's talking the most that are trying to get emotional buy-in by claiming they're a victim because that they know that if you can get some emotional buy-in from 
from someone, they're more than likely to uh, trust or believe the words that you're saying. So, like, there was a lot going and on And she there. did not act afraid of him whatsoever. No. You think if there's some kind of abuse going on, you would have some kind of barriers up towards that person. Yeah. And I didn't see that at all. Yeah. Like, even when she was on the 911 call, because I heard the 911 call, you haven't heard it yet, she asked the dispatcher... Oh, like the cops are coming. Okay, she's like, should I go in inside and get him? Because they're asking where he is. She says that he has weapons. Okay, she's trying to make him out to sound like this horrible guy. And she's Dude. like, and I just want you guys to know, he thinks he knows the law. You know, like what? And then she's like, at one point, she's like, should I go like get him and bring him out here? And the dispatcher's like, what? Like, so thrown off by that. Like, yeah. you're, you're claiming he's abusing you and that he has weapons, but then you're offering to go get him out of the house? And she's like, no, no. the, the police officers are going to make contact with you as soon as you get there, as, as soon as they get there. Yeah. And I'm thinking, dude, you're totally not afraid of him. You're not afraid of him abusing you because yep. you are offering to go get him out of the house when he's apparently so angry and pushed you. And and she lives on her phone, too. So to think, like, if she was abused, okay, there wouldn't be pictures. There wouldn't be video. There wouldn't well, she be, a, offers, oh, my gosh, I can't believe, look what he did. This happened. And, you know, she claims she's smart there are. enough to know. She claims there are, though. That's what she told the police. Yeah, like, but He where, said, I then? never pushed you, and I've never abused you in that body cam footage. And she's like, should I show him the pictures? I, I know. That's what yeah. I'm talking about that I heard. And that's where I... The, so the body cam footage was looking at him when she's saying that there was no reaction of remorse, of stress, of concern. Like there was nothing there. I don't think what she was her. saying is real. But the thing is, is you can ignore somebody and still show these stressors in your body and not have to say anything. Yeah. And somebody that knows what they're looking for would be like, "Ooh, yeah, he's sweating. He's sweating. Yeah, he's yeah. worried about that. That that yeah. there probably is something there. But there wasn't. There was no worry, no stress, no nothing at all. All I saw was just frustration with her, like annoyance yeah. and a disconnection from the yeah. situation. He totally was yeah. super annoyed with her. Um, so all three of them were arrested July 21st. Good. Yep. <laughs> and uh, they were all transported to Great Guana K. To not to Nassau, where okay. she is locked up in Fox Hill, which is known to be like a horrible, horrible prison. So it says, Karma. which has been slammed by Amnesty International because of the squalid conditions and high number of inmate self deletions. So her co conspirators were released, it says Thursday. I don't. It, I hate when they do that. Like, this article could be from a month ago, and it still says Thursday. Like, Yeah, because supposed updates. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. So, on a $20,000 bail, but they have to wear, like, an, an ankle bracelet or something. Sure. It says uh, electronic GPS. monitoring tags. Um, and they have to check in with the Marsh Harbor Police Station three times a week. She also posted bail, and Robert paid for it. No... Way. Oh, wait. So some people are dismissing that and saying, okay. no, no, that's way. weird. Because that was going around that he paid for it. But actually, it might have been her parents because her parents yeah, okay. apparently cut her off financially. But when all this happened and they heard that she was in Fox Hill, they were like talking about buying a piece of property down there so that she would have somewhere to stay so she wouldn't have to be in prison so that she could Let be out. just buy a house for you. No problem. We got you. I know. Come what? on. She literally tried to murder her husband what the oh heck? my gosh you guys i wonder i wouldn't if, do that i wonder if she's gonna get off if she does get off i hope she doesn't get a dime i hope the judge looks at that and says you know what i'm granting you everything you want buddy here you go silver platter you know you get nothing i'm just worried because if her parents have enough money to say, you know what, we're going to buy land down there in a vacation area where it's going to be super expensive and they can just do it like that, then they've got enough money to pay for really good lawyers. Yeah, agreed. 
So she's not allowed to leave the Bahamas while this is going on. She has to stay down there. She has to give up her passport and report daily to the police station in Nassau until her October indictment. So she's going to be indicted in October. Um, so he's still, Robert's still pursuing custody and everything. Four days Good. after the plot was discovered, they were supposed to be in court July 20th for a custody hearing. Maybe he'll get everything because of that. Oh, wait, no. In the Thomas County Supreme Court, and they filed for counterclaims against each other in a hostile custody battle. Yeah, it was cu- a custody hearing. All I know is uh, kids cannot be with somebody that could do something no. like that. Mm-mm. No way. So she, you know, she even pulled out a restraining order against him before what? all this. Yeah. And then yep. she's the one that goes and does this? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. I'm blown away by this. I, I am know. blown away at how she got caught. The only thing that I can think of is karma, you guys. I'm telling you. Like, karma's terrifying. Terrifying. So they caught her on the way to checking in with the police, like, one day. Uh like they talked to her, I guess, like media caught up with her uh-huh. and they have a picture of her, which we can pop, put up here. Um, you can see her ankle monitor. <laughs> and Karma. Uh, like she looks better. They keep commenting on her appearance. Cause I guess she looked pretty like she was in, I don't know. They were commenting what, oranges, on her when she was like, coming out of Fox. Sure, so no, sure. she was in like ripped up jeans and stuff. But, um, I mean, you tried to kill somebody. So she not just somebody, but your kid's dad. I know. It's insane. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't feel bad for her at all. But she made a couple comments. She said, I really can't say too much right now, um, calmly, noting she had been advised to remain mum by her attorneys as the case progresses. It's been hard, but I can't speak about it. Um, It said she was carrying an envelope. Um, And that she's rented a car and she mentions her car. And she says, and now I'm having car issues with my car. (laughs) I have to deal with that now on top of everything else. But I really can't say anything more. I'm sorry. Thank you for being respectful. She just really wants people to feel bad for her. She does. She's playing that victim card. And if I was her soon-to-be ex, I would be noting all of it. Oh, I yeah. I would be writing it down. Okay, so she talked to media, and there's a clear indication that she tried to play a victim here. When she called the police, there was a clear indication tr- she tried to play a victim here. So the second he gets in court, he's going to be like, look, she's trying to play a victim. Now let me show you the history of how... Now she's tried to play a victim every exactly. other time. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's like the latest updates on it now. Um, I think we're all up to speed on it, and I'm going to follow it. Yeah. Um, but I just, what an idiot. Yeah. Like, what I am, an idiot. I'm blown away at the fact that they weren't even there for that. I can't yeah. imagine what it must a feel robbery. like to be him. I mean, what do you guys think? Can you imagine that feeling? I can't believe the emotions he's got to be going through knowing, like, I could have been taken out that day. And the kids. Like, I feel like in those situations, it's really dangerous. Like, if you consider hiring a hitman to kill your husband that is literally with your children, like, the okay. The caretaker of the kids. When yeah. I was, when I was in high school, or actually wasn't, I think it was high school, maybe it was middle school when this happened. I had a friend where the parents split. Um, well, it was actually not his, yeah, his parents split, and then she was dating a guy who was still technically married but separated. Mm-hmm. His mom was. And they were all at that house that night, and the uh, the lady, the estranged wife, hired a hitman and killed everyone in the house except for two of the kids survived. Dude, that's, that's so, what I'm saying is it's not... It's not, like, you're putting your kids at risk, too. You might think, oh, I'm just hiring a hit on my husband. Your but, kids are at risk, yeah. too. Well, you got to think, if that hitman goes to do it and one of the kids sees something, I, I, can you guarantee that that's, they're not going to make sure that there's no eyewitnesses? I mean, that what is going on? I, I feel crazy having this conversation of why somebody shouldn't hire a hitman when kids are around, you know? 
I do Come feel on. crazy. I just, she was a stay at home mom. Like it just seems so odd. And I'm sure he's going through that turmoil. Like, oh my gosh, like she's the mother of my kids. Like she stayed home with them. Like we had this life and then like I get it didn't work, but she wants me dead. <sighs> yeah. I, in this situation, one plus one doesn't equal two. I don't know what it equals, but I'm glad that she's been arrested. I'm glad that she I'm, is no longer a danger for society because yeah. here's the thing. If somebody has the possibility in any situation, any situation at all, to make a decision where they're going to end another human being's life. To get what they want. To get what they want. Or just for fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, or just for fun. But uh, then they have the capability of doing it whenever i think yeah. you know that we see these people that end their uh significant other or we think that's what happened but there isn't enough proof to prove it and normally it get it happens more than once it happens again like you looking at the black widower that guy yeah. that did it to all his ex-wives or, or exes yeah, yeah allegedly but um it's because every time it gets easier, these we can't have someone like this out on the street. No, and I'm so glad that he survived it. Like Me I'm so glad it got too. caught at the right time in such a odd way. Like it just like was like the universe aligned yeah. to make sure that you know this didn't happen. That he they must didn't go be through doing this. the right thing. Yeah, I'm sure he's hugging his kids tighter. Yeah, <laughs> you know. But, but uh, uh, that's that's all I got on it. Let me know if you guys have any additional details or, you know. Let us know your opinions. opinion. Opinion on it, yep. We need your opinion on these things. I want to know what you guys think about it and yeah. uh, how you feel about it. Yeah, it's wild. It is. It is. 